Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying on five different styles of Abercrombie jeans. I'm so excited for today's video because Abercrombie jeans have very quickly become my favorite and just a staple in my closet. I really, even though I have a lot of other pairs of jeans, I should get rid of them because I always reach for my Abercrombie jeans. Most of the styles that I'm gonna be trying on in today's video, I have multiple sizes in, multiple washes. So you're really gonna to get to hear my opinion on comfort, quality, and fit. Of these five styles if you guys like this style video definitely give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below because there are plenty more styles that Abercrombie has to offer that I can try out for you guys or I can make this a series and try out jeans from all different distributors so before we hop in I do want to talk about Abercrombie jeans and what they offer so they do offer petite and long and regular lengths in almost all of their pants and they also offer a regular fit and a curve love is what they call it their curvier fit it's called curve love that is what I have today I only have a couple pairs um, that are not curve love and I'll make sure to share that with you guys as I'm trying them on but I prefer that I have kind of an athletic build so I'm not super curvy I'm more like curvy I'm definitely more muscular especially on bottom so I find that the curve love that allows for the more room in the bum in the quad area is the perfect fit for me I absolutely love that they offer that something else I do want to say about Abercrombie jeans is I don't want to say they can be inconsistent in sizing but their sizing definitely uh, varies amongst styles so it's depending on the style of jeans so hopefully this video is helpful and hopefully I can help guide you guys in the right direction as far as sizing because they do fit different from style to style so for size reference if you guys are interested I will leave all of my measurements and everything down below if you're a similar body type and you just want to use that for reference I always put that at the bottom of the description bar in general I normally wear a 24 double zero or a 0 25 it really depends I don't think I have anything else to go over so let's hop right in first up are my all-time favorite viral 90 straight ultra high-rise jeans i have these ones in a size 24 curve love and just to be fair these jeans are very snug on me at this point where i am kind of in between sizes right now but nonetheless i absolutely love these jeans i think the fit is 10 out of 10 i love that they're kind of snug and flattering through the bum and through the quads but they're loose and straight at the bottom they look perfect with sneakers ankle boots sandals whatever you want to pair them with and i did cut the ankle of mine so you can see that they hit right above my ankle i just cut it straight across with some scissors threw them in the wash and they frayed on their own i just prefer that length but if you do not um, like the ankle length when you order them at a regular length they hit the floor for me uh and i'm 5'4 just for reference so this is a sh just a close-up of like the wash and all the distressing i think it's perfect and they're super comfortable so these are the same exact jeans 90 straight ultra high rise but these are in a size 25 curve love these fit me perfectly literally perfectly to a t i just absolutely love the way that these ones look they're slightly looser and just super comfortable the other ones i kind of have to unbutton when i sit down because the waist is a bit rigid so i like that these ones are a bit looser they're more comfortable i can sit comfortably and i love the wash of these as well same as the last ones i did cut the ankle so you can see that straight across cut at the bottom but otherwise they would hit the floor at just like I don't know sneaker length is what i usually call it but again these jeans just the fit and everything it looks good with everything that you pair them with and that ultra high rise comes up to almost your ribs so i find it so flattering so comfortable these are not going to be jeans that get loose on you throughout the day you're never pulling them up or frustrated with them falling down they stay put and just look and feel so nice Next up, I have the 90s Relax High Rise. So these are just slightly less high rise. I have mine in a 24 Curve Love. They fit me up perfectly. They're nice and snug in the waist so that they're never falling down. I don't feel like I'm pulling them up, but they have that looser fit in through the hip and the leg, which I just think is so flattering. And these ones I did not cut and I don't plan on cutting them. I love the length of these. And with that straighter leg, I think they look so nice with a little heel, like a chunky um, strap 
strappy heel or some chunky sneakers. It's just so cute. These are very, very comfortable because they are a looser fit. So the comfort is just even higher than the uh, 90s straight ones that I had on before. And this brown color is amazing. I love this shade and I think it pairs so nicely with white and cream, which I wear a lot in the springtime. So I think I'll get a lot of wear out of these. Next, I have the loose high rise. So these are the loosest jeans in the loosest style that I have from Abercrombie. I just recently picked them up, so they still have the tag on them. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really love these. I picked them out to go with like a band t-shirt um, and some sneakers, just super casual. I do really love that loose fit. And again, because these are even more loose than the last ones I had on, the comfort, guys. I mean, truly, some of these are better than wearing leggings. They're just so good. And the waist in these are also a little bit looser than the other 24s that I have. Like, I would say these definitely are a looser fit. So go with your true size, no need to size up. They're just really comfy, loose, and I don't know, I'm into it, I'm into it. But comment down below because I'm not 100% on keeping them or not. So next I have size 24 ankle straight ultra high rise. So these used to fit me perfectly and now they are very snug on my bum and quads. I think because they're not the curve love, they just, I'm about to like blow out a seam, but I do really love the fit. I think if you're still used to wearing skinny jeans and a skinnier pant, this is a great transition into the straighter jeans that are a little bit trendier right now because it's not overwhelming. It's not like a big, um, you know, straight pant leg at the bottom. It's still close fitting, um, but it just, it, it's got that little straight fit at the ankle. So these already are ankle length, which I mentioned before is my preferred length. I think it's really flattering on my height or shorter. And these are really, really flattering. Again, the pocket placement of Abercrombie jeans in the bum is 10 out of 10 every single time. Next up, same exact ankle straight ultra high rise style, but in a size 26. So interesting because this is two sizes larger than the dark black wash that I just had on. And the fit is still quite similar. I will say I can feel the difference in the fit though. These are super comfortable, um, a little bit looser in the back of my leg, as you can see there. These ones are a much better fit for me right now. Um, they are a little bit loose in my waist, but in a comfortable way, in a way that when I sit down, I don't feel like I have to unbutton them. I don't feel like they're digging into me and I just really love this style. I think again, they look really cute with some sneakers and just like an oversized sweatshirt on top um, or like a bodysuit and some sandals would be really cute as well moving into spring. So these do have a little bit of stretch in them, which again, makes them more comfortable. Um, whereas the other, you know, the 90s straight jeans that I mentioned are more of a rigid jean. Next up, if you are looking for comfort, go for the mom high rise. These are so comfortable, guys. They've got the stretch. The fit is like loose enough that they're comfy, but they're close enough to the body that they're still flattering. And it's not, again, that overwhelming straight baggy fit that's not for everybody. Um, I love the distressing on these. I think it's just subtle enough. It looks really cute with a band t-shirt. And these ones I just find are really, really comfy. These I have in the Curve Love versus my other two um, mom jeans from Abercrombie, which I'll show you in just a second, which are not the Curve Love. And I again, I just think that this is a better fit for me. So if you're a straighter fit, definitely go for that regular because it really um, is just so flattering. And the way that they cut their jeans based on your body type is spot on. I think they've done a really, really good job. These are in the regular length, by the way, um, and they hit just, I don't know, right across my ankle. So good with sneakers and sandals, things for the springtime. Something else I wanna mention about the mom high rise jeans is I do think that they're high rise, but they're slightly lower than a lot of high rise jeans that I have. They kind of cut right across my belly button, um, if that makes sense. So I really think these are a great jean to use when you're gonna wear like something loose on top and you wanna front tuck it, like a band t-shirt or a sweatshirt, just kind of tuck it in the front. These are absolutely perfect for that, but I don't love them with a bodysuit. The way, like the placement of where they hit my hip, these are not my favorite to wear something fitted 
lid with on top. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that in case, you know, you like things that are above your belly button like I do. I like that super ultra high rise. Um, and these are just not that, but I have three pairs of these. So I obviously still love them and they're perfect. Like I said, with like a band t-shirt or sweatshirt on top, they've got that nice comfort too, with the stretch, like I mentioned before. So these ones I wear all the time in this blue wash. They're so soft. The denim is like a yummy buttery material. And it's not like a jigging stretch. It's like a true denim with stretch in it. So that's what I prefer because again, I don't find that these are baggy by the end of the day. And I just love the way that they pair with all of my casual items, my sneakers and my t-shirts. So next is the same pair, the same style of jeans, but in a size 25. I wish I had these in a 24 because these do get a little bit baggy on me uh, throughout the day. These are the only jeans that I have from Abercrombie that do that. So I don't know if it's just this wash because um, these do feel the most stretchy as well, but also I have them in a size up. So I'm not sure. I think with all of those components, just by the end of the day, these sometimes drive me nuts but with that said i do find since these are a 25 they come up higher on my waist and i like these ones with a bodysuit if you want to you know be able to wear your bodysuits with them maybe size up and if you're going to be wearing them with some t-shirts and just front tucking different tops in maybe get your true size um, also i've belted these before and it looked super cute and i felt more comfortable because even when they got a little bit baggy they still looked nice but i didn't feel like i was pulling them up all the time All right guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. Like I said, definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you enjoyed it. I can do more like this. I really want this to be helpful to you guys. I know how hard it can be to find good jeans and I highly recommend trying out Abercrombie. Um, I think to return, it's either free returns or it's like $7 or something to return an entire box like it's not by weight or anything like that so I recommend ordering a couple different sizes and styles trying it out seeing what you like don't like and I promise it will be worth it anything is worth finding that perfect pair of jeans so thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video bye